I'm growing in three different spots in my backyard. Let's go check them out. <laughs> it's far, let me try again. Hi, I'm Joanna. I'm a mom, I'm a writer, and I love to garden. This year I'm gonna grow some wheat. I've grown it for a few years now since it went legal in California, and while I'm not a big consumer, this plant is fun to grow. What's up, fellow weed growers? I'm Joanna, coming to you from my Berkeley, California backyard. I grow fruit, veggies, herb, cut flowers, and yeah, weed. I grow weed entirely outdoors, in the sunshine, no fancy equipment, not a lot of fuss. And I've actually found that information for that type of a grower is incredibly hard to come by. So I'm here to help show you how to do it. And what's the very first thing you need to do when growing weed? find a spot to grow it. So weed needs full sun. And in the outdoor world of gardening, what full sun means is at least six hours of direct sunlight a day. You don't have to worry about, you know, 12 hours of this and 12 hours, just six to eight hours of direct sunlight and nature is gonna do the rest. Morning sun is always a little bit gentler and more loving than afternoon sun. So if you can get super picky with choosing your six to eight hours, by the way, more is fine, then opt for morning sun. And if not, don't worry about it. You also need super good soil because when you're gardening, you're actually cultivating soil more than you are cultivating a plant. So you want some really nicely amended, well-draining, yummy, yummy soil and plenty of room. Weed is pretty variable in its size and you're good if you allot five to six feet of width. They need some room. Other things to consider, if you live somewhere crazy windy, you're gonna wanna plant them with some sort of barrier to the wind, either a wall or other plants. You also need to think about privacy. In many locations, it's actually only legal to grow weed behind super tall fences. Also, you don't want your neighbors stealing your stuff. So, you know, just look into a private spot. I'm in my backyard. There's like pathways and gates over there. So nobody's gonna come in and see. Maybe just smell. And lastly, access to water is absolutely key. Plants need water to grow. I'm growing in three spots in my backyard. Let's go check them out. Up first, the existing veggie bed, as chosen by the previous tenants. Big fan of the nice rocks that makes a pretty little edging. Here are herbs spilling over. Love the drip irrigation fan full sun here in the in the afternoon and what I don't love is the soil's just a little sleepy it's been cultivated a lot and could use a ton of compost or better yet some cover crop the grave spot number two second area I'm planting weed are these two beds that I recently dug up they get incredible sun all day long full sun and they also have pretty incredible soil super juicy full of worms really nice basically the grass has acted as a cover crop for the last three years that it's been in not ideal about it are the sprinkler heads that pop up gonna make things a little more wet than I want them to be but it will be okay oh god I'm sorry I don't know why I'm saying sorry, I can just... Cool, spot two, there you go, spot two. All right, spot number three is a container. Always a good choice if you don't have access to in-ground planting, you can totally grow in a container. Five gallon minimum, 15 gallon ideal, fresh potting soil, you're good to go. I like to grow weed in a container because I can make a really cute little scene, a couple pots and flowers, and I feel like an utter badass that a big weed plant is the main attraction. So that's everything you need to know about choosing a spot for your weed. Remember, full sun, good soil, access to water, some privacy, you're set. I'll see you next time where we will pop some seeds. See, we'll, mm-hmm. <laughs>